Hello and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion on Nixus Gaming. In the last episode we continued collecting relics of the Divine Crusader. We're getting pretty outfitted out and we return to the Priory of the Nine only to be told by this Sir Lathan guy that his knight was killed trying to retrieve the sword and greaves of the uh, of the Crusader. Now he did escape with the greaves and he gave us those so let's go ahead and repair those up because those are probably just as good if not better than our daedric greaves 36 14 36 14 so yeah that gives us a full armor set for the divine crusader all we're missing now is the sword but uh i noticed in between episodes that we're pretty bogged down weight wise with all our old daedric stuff I'm not too worried about keeping this, so I figured I'd just sell it all. That's why we're here in the marketplace. And it seems like the copious coin purse has just closed on us. So uh, let's wait 13 hours. I checked before starting the episode, and it was still open. open so I was hoping I could get in there in time, but I guess not. So we're going to sell some stuff. And then we're going to head back to the Priory, do a meet and greet with all our it new recruits. Then we're going to go after business. this uh, sword. Let's go in here, sell these staffs. Oh, fine. Still going to keep Mayroon's razor on us, because why not? Never know if and you need an instant kill item. And all these rings and stuff before we sell the badass reset. You got it. The badass reset has served us for a long time. That's a but we never finished with the helmet, so it's not even a complete set. I'm not too worried about losing it thus. You drive a hard bargain. Gonna keep the Knights of the Nine Shield because I don't know if that is unique or not. And we're gonna go ahead and sell that Sir Amiel's ring. Price. Get rid of all these potions. There shouldn't be as much as a few episodes ago. You got but there is probably still quite a bit I now that I'm thinking about it. You got a bunch of strong potions I'll of healing. You I don't think I can sell all of these. Uh, what's the limit? It's like 16? No, it's No, it's 12, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 12. That's how many of these I can sell at a time. Let's just do six there, okay. That Strong potions of sorcery, I think, are like 18, right? Uh, no. Are they 20? Yeah, they're 20. Because those sell for less than the potions of healing. That mercantile skill increase, looking to try and max that out throughout the game too. That's why I sell a lot of stuff. Once that's you maxed drive. out, I have plenty of gold to make it through the game. So I am not worried about selling anything or looting Excuse anything me. really after mercantile is maxed out. Alright, let's get rid of the silver nugget and you these drive. wolf pelts and we'll call it. There we go. All right, so as I said, Please we're going to go return. back to the night, uh, Priory of the Nine and meet and greet all our new recruits because we have quite a few new recruits here. Oh, he's going to be riding his horse. Okay, that's fine. I'm not going to ride a horse. Well met, all right, Sir Knight. Gaymond. Hail, Sir Knight. My brother and Diamond? I have heard that you are founding a holy order of knights. And we would like to offer you our swords. We've come all the way from Skyrim to join up. We can't claim any experience as knights, but we learn soldiering from our years in the Legion. Will you have us? I accept. Welcome to the Order. You won't regret it, sir. You'll find us true-hearted and brave. I'll be back as soon as I've outfitted myself. Okay, and then we have... Our Reldar is here. I find myself here, at your disposal. I want to make up for the mistakes I've made. 
and devote myself fully to the faith. If it pleases you, I would join your order and serve the Nine at your side. What say you? I accept. Welcome to the order. Thank you. It means a great deal to me. Excuse me while I gather the equipment I need. I don't understand how I'm suddenly like yes. the head of the Knights of the Nine when I was just literally just looking for the artifacts. Who the hell are you? We meet again. I am here to join your order, having received a divine vision from Kinnereth herself. Okay, I remember you now. I have been shown that to protect all Kinnereth's creations, I must take up your cause and be willing to lay down my life for you. So here I am. I have no doubt that our good works will be talked of in the eras to come. I mean, I accept, I guess, but how old are you? You got, like, gray hair, I see wrinkles, like... Sure, welcome to the Order. Thank you. I shall serve the Order to the best of my ability. I must change into something that suits a knight. Please excuse me. Alright, so we got four new recruits. And that's not including the ones that I, uh... Hail, Commander. Yeah, there's Sir Thedric. He's the one that, uh... We freed from the Fort Bulwark. Did I not say we would meet again? I am here and ready to serve. I will join your order, and together we will fight this new threat against the Nine. Glory to the Nine. I am at your service, Commander. Okay. Well, I'm not going to talk to him about those topics. Uh, who else is there? Let's dive down into the basement. Yes, Commander. There's Avita, hey, there's Commander. Arelder, Gukamir. I am at your service, Commander. I think he is Gaiman's brother. Goodbye, Commander. And there's Gaiman. Uh, Sergius. Sergius Terrianus, at your service. Thedret and I go way back, and he said there was need of a blacksmith here. It'd be an honor to provide what service I can. So, you need anything repaired, you come see me. I mean, I don't need a repair, man. I got that covered, but thank you. And Sir Caritas, I really have no idea who you are. One can never be too proficient with a blade, wouldn't you say? Who are you? The Priory has been restored to its former glory and is now a fitting home for our order. Who the hell are you? Farewell. I mean, I don't know who you are, but you have a story. You were referred here by Thedrit. I literally have no idea who this guy is and why he's here. Everyone else, like, they at least, for the most part, they were in the other quests. Hail, Commander. Like, uh, Arelder and Avita were in the other quests. And then Gaimund and Gelkador whatever, they weren't in the other quests, but they just came here and they asked, and that was cool. This... Caradis guy just kind of showed up and like hey I'm a part of the Knights I'm not gonna tell you where I came from let's have fun together what, what like who the hell are you dude okay whatever I'm I'm probably overthinking it uh let's go to Underpaul cave and get the sword shall we we'll travel from Apple watch now this guy's still on his horse his annoying horse there uh, I may have chosen a bad way here. Because there seems to be a mountain in the way. Can I jump to the top of this mountain? It looks like I can. Yeah, let's just go over the mountain. Can you do that with your horse? You can't. You're, you're going to be left behind, Lathan. It's fine. I didn't want him to come with me anyway. I'd rather do this alone. But he's all like, yeah, I'll come avenge you. I'll come almost kill myself and get in your way. Whatever, dude. Talking about almost killing myself. Watch me just jump down this mountainside and take all this damage. Like so. Oh my god, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. We're almost there. It's okay. We are almost there. Gonna do another jump because I'm stupid. I landed in the tree. I didn't know that was possible. But we're here at Underpaul Cave. 
uh, Lord Vlindril's grave, Sir Roderick died somewhere inside battling the Wraith and now has the sword. Are you... What's your deal, man? Are you here? Oh, you know what it is? One of the effects of one of the armor pieces. I don't know which one it is. Woodland Grace. I think that makes it to where wild animals won't attack me anymore. So this bear has no problem with me now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's go into the cave. Yeah, Lathan is nowhere to be seen. I've completely lost Lathan by going over that mountain, which is fine with me. It's going to randomly show up in the middle of this at the worst spot, but for now, it is fine with me. I'm going to be constantly looking over my back, too, making sure he's not running up. Um, I see a skeleton up there. This is cool. I kind of remember this area. It's like a little graveyard in it. Well, let's see. Under Paul Keep. Lathan is still not here. Let's take out the skeleton. And this skeleton. That way his summon goes away. And let's get an idea of how this place works. Looks like there's this big central room here. With branching ways to go. I guess we'll... Where's the actual exit? The exit's there. There's no way that this leads to the exit, like, right away. Or, I mean, the next area, you know? Looks like it does, though. Okay, get out of here. Why do these bars go all the way up? I can't jump over them like that. That could have killed me right there if those rocks landed on me. That was actually a close one. Alright, so this leads to the next area, to the reflecting chamber. Did we go to the reflecting chamber right away? Ah, uh, it has the green on it. There's like a whole part of this cave, this keep, that I haven't been to yet. So forgive me if I'm a little confused. Headless zombie, mort flesh. Summon lich. Okay, this is not a dead end. You lead to a nether lich with a free staff of frost. Potion of dispel. For dispelling potions. Oh, and this goes further. Does it? Oh, it does. Uh, this way. These rooms can be confusing sometimes. Not gonna lie. Grab that. think that's the sword right there. Okay. So there's like a whole part of this keep that I just haven't explored. For some reason it just took me straight over to here. Alright, how dangerous are you really? Let's get rid of the rat because that's a nuisance. He's drained like all my stamina and stuff. He actually very nearly killed me, but the Wraith of Lord Vlindril is destroyed and I need to reclaim the sword that he somehow twisted for his evil purpose. 
I've recovered it, but it's been desecrated by the foul wraith. I should take it to the chapel of RK in Shadenhall to reconsecrate it. So did that finish the faithful squire quest? It did. Okay. Lathan still isn't even here. I have, like, he's gone. Do slaughterfish not attack me now? Hold on. Did I just get to that slaughterfish before it attacked, or do they not attack me either with this woodland grace thing? I'm not gonna know, because that was... Are you a friend? My god, he's a friend. I am literally swimming with the fishes because they're friends with me. It's gonna be so weird. There are so many enemies that just won't attack me now. Okay, did I loot this rat? I did not. Uh, let's go this way, I guess. I do want to explore the rest of this dungeon, even though it let me skip most of it. Tomb of Lord, Lord Vlindril, Knights of the Nine Curious, Curious, Curious. God, worst word in the game. Okay. And here is Sir Roderick. Okay. Well, he is definitely dead. As Lathan said. Where is... It's through here, okay. There's this room that I've been in already. And this leads back to the cave, or the keep, I guess. Okay. Well, before I leave, let's explore the rest of this keep. I'm not going to leave this place unexplored. Because there's definitely other stuff here. Let's go this direction now. No, I should probably heal. Staff of Silence. You know what? I'm gonna heal because all it's gonna take is one trap going off and I am dead. So that... That's me actually looking out for myself for once. Okay, nothing in here. Where does this go? To the north wing. What am I going to find in the north wing? Another lich that just doesn't fight back. Hey, did I grab the staff from that other lich? Can't remember if I did or not. Hmm. This, yeah, that just looped back around. It's a dead end. You're a normal wraith. Let's see. Up here, I think this might be leading back into the main area from that other path, maybe? Make sure to jump over that little trap hole there. Looks like I might have to go down there to proceed. Try and miss the spikes here if I can. There we go. Uh, let's jump across. Check over here. Nothing. We'll have to jump across again or go around. That is much better. See what's through here. We got three enemies in here. One's a lich, one's a skeleton, and one's a rat. All pretty easy. Oh, I didn't want the dwarven claymore. I thought that was the staff. 
guys see a staff in that mess? See the chest. I don't see the staff though. Uh, let's see. What's the button to drag? It's Z. Right? Yeah, come on. Now they're like stuck. Okay, I don't think I'm getting that staff if it's down there. Can't even see it down there. Let's take the gold. Loot the coffin. Heat blast tome. That sounds fun. Heat blast tome. Learn. Go. Why are there two? Underpaw cave. Underpaw cave. Why are there two like exits here? That's strange. But I'll go with it. That leads. This leads to that upper area. With skeleton heroes, skeleton champion, and another skeleton hero. All right. So there's the champion, there's one hero, and there's the other hero. Uh, anything else up here? No, I don't think so. It's over here. Nothing. Okay, so let's go back into the keep. Because there's still, like, one other path to take here. Wherever this leads. Is there a south wing I gotta go through now? Because I've been through the north wing. This zombie's coming towards me. There we go. Um, anything in here? Mm, yes, no. Okay. Oh, we got blood in here. And two zombies. Easy. I like the mort flesh. I can use it with the bone meal that I'm getting way too much of. Alright, and through here leads to the south wing. Which I have not been in yet. Oh, you're like... You know what? I can deal with you. Yeah, you didn't think I could jump up here, did you? You didn't think I could jump across to you, did you? Put these guys on a ledge. Like I can't get up there. Jeez. Silly game. That's what acrobatics is for. Alright, anything else in this room? Doesn't look like it. Hey rat. Bye rat. We're actually taking decent damage in this dungeon. We might have to heal again. Uh, that's a strange trap bridge there that looks like it's already been set off. Can you just let me by so I can kill your summoner? Take that. What's after me? This guy's after me? Is that your summon behind you, or is that another skeleton? I mean, you're trying to run, but if it's your skeleton, he's blocking your way. It was totally your skeleton. Your own skeleton screwed you over. Oh, uh, where am I going here? There was another path, wasn't there? I think I want to double back real quick. Like, what was down here? Oh, wait. I get it. This hallway 
probably leads up to that hard lock gate. Come on, come on. Okay, take that. Staff, take that. Any loot? No? Yeah, I'm guessing this just leads up to the hard lock gate. And that's like the way out, maybe? They're definitely not making it easy on me, though. That's for sure. Take out this hero. Where am I? Yeah, I'm working my way back up there. Very slowly, but surely. Just grabbing more and more bone meal I don't need. That goes to under Paul cave I don't know where in the cave though um to the other side here okay so it would seem the only point of the other like pathways that didn't go to the sword the only point of them were to get up to these edges here and these edges don't have a whole lot on them anyway. Okay. Well, uh, let me finish looting this area and I will leave through that way. Because this is the hard lock gate that I didn't unlock and I tracked backwards at. So that should be everything. Alright. Let's get on out of here. Now, I know we've only done this one dungeon this entire episode so far. But we've actually knocked out two quests. Because we knocked out the Faithful Squire quest. And now we've knocked out... Well, we're going to knock out the Sword of the Crusader quest. We just got to go to the Shrine of RK to re-consecrate the sword. Alright, so where where is that actually? I have no idea where these chapels are. RK is in Shaden Hall. Okay. I know each town has like a different Nine Divine in its chapel. I just, I can never remember which is which. And I'm hoping that this one, you just kind of walk in and deal with these guys, of course. We seem to have already killed everyone in the chapel, by the way. Why is this one so strong? Okay, well, he's dead. He had a diamond. Umaril's Aurorans have been destroyed. Shaden Hall Chapel is safe for now. I can now reconsecrate the sword. Consecrate. No end. Consecrate. On the high altar. I think you want to loot these guys pretty fast because, uh, I want to say the last ones disappeared pretty quickly after I killed them. But it's been reconsecrated, and I now possess all eight of the relics, and I should return to the priory to consult with the knights on how to attack Umaril. Alrighty, so let's do exactly that. I think I want to do one more quest this episode. It's not going to be the final quest of the DLC. We have two more quests to do. Yep, we have two more. I'm hoping this one... Lord Crusader, the prophet is here. He's just arrived. He seemed to know you were coming, told me to wait for you, and here you are! Come. He is preaching to the assembled knights in the chapel. You should speak to him at once. All right, well, the prophet is here. That's cool, I guess. Whatever. All right, let's go talk to the prophet. This next quest is actually really short, I'm realizing. Uh, is... Who the hell are you? Sir Knight, allow me to introduce myself. I am Brelin of Sylvanar, at your service. I come to offer myself as a knight in service of Oriel, or Akatosh, as he is known in Cyrodiil. 
I bring nothing but my skill with the blade, which is not inconsiderable, and my devotion to the Lord Oriel. Will you accept me? As unworthy as I am? Oh, you're definitely unworthy. Get in here. I Whatever. I am to join the order under your illustrious command. Excuse me while I go to the armory and attire myself as befits a knight of the nine. Yeah, again, how did I become the commander of all these guys? We got Gukamir, Gaimund, Caridus. Who the fuck is Caridus? I don't even know. Arelder, Thedrit, Avida, that guy I just recruited. And Lathan is, uh... Lathan's gone. Lathan is just gone. Should we, like, wait a little bit, see if Lathan just shows up? I mean, if he shows up, he's going to show up in here. I don't know if Lathan's coming back. I kind of left Lathan in the dust. In the middle of nowhere. Uh, the horses are in different spots. I don't know if that matters. Yeah, I don't think Lathan's coming back. Oh well, let's uh, get the show on the road, shall we? You have stepped from the humble shadows of obscurity and into legend. No feat you have accomplished in your life compares to what you have become. You are an embodiment of Pelinul Whitestrake. The bane of Umarul the Unfeathered. The time has come for you to fulfill your destiny. Umarul lies hid in the ancient fane of Garlas Malatar. You must go there and destroy him. Am I ready then? No. Should you face Umarul, you would suffer the same fate as Pelinul. The times change, and even the shape of the divine itself must change with it. Where once there were eight, now one more stands with them, and they have become nine. You mean Talos? Aye, with the apotheosis of Tiber Septum, the face of the divine was transformed. Talos ascended, and the eight became <laughs> nine. So, although you wear the armor of the gods, it is incomplete. A relic of the old ways and the old gods. How do I destroy Umaril, then? As a proven guardian of this realm, and a warrior the likes of which have not been seen in millennia. Talos grants you his sacred blessing. With the ancient gifts of the Eight and the new gift of the One, you are ready to face Umaril. What does the blessing do? It will allow you to follow Umaril into the spirit realm upon his death. It will allow you to destroy him, body and soul, utterly, and for all time! You must first kill his living body. While beyond the power of most mortals, this is only the lesser of your two tasks. His Daedric nature allows his spirit to escape into oblivion after death. Oh, this is what Pelinal learned upon defeating Umaril the first time. But you can do what Pelinal could not. The blessings of Talos will allow you to follow Umaril's spirit when it leaves his body. This you must do, and you must not fail. You will not, because the Nine fight with you. Well, uh, I want to know about Umaril's spirit. When Umaril joined with the Daedra, his spirit expanded beyond this realm. His physical form can travel between realms, but his spirit is bound. 
When his body is destroyed, his spirit travels back to oblivion and is reformed in the fires of creation. With the armor of the gods and the blessing of Talos, you will be able to follow him where Pelinol could not and destroy his very spirit. Once his spirit is destroyed, he will be completely obliterated, erased from all realms of existence. Well, what is Garlas Malatar? Garlas Malatar was the westernmost outpost of the Aeliad Empire. It watched over what we call the Abyssinian Sea. Since his return, Umaril has taken Garlas Malatar as his lair. That is where you must seek him out. What kind of a foe is Umaril? Umaril cannot be bested in his physical form by any normal means. His blows can strike down the mightiest of warriors in a single stroke. The Eight created the relics to withstand Umaril's fell power. Do not attempt to face him without this divine protection. All right, I guess that's all. I'm ready. Your knights will assemble at Garlas Malatar and await you there. Gather all those who you deem worthy. Not all who enter those halls shall return. Those who fall in service of the Nine will live on forever in the halls of their fathers. I wish you well on your quest, Crusader. We are depending on you. Okay, well, uh, oh, guys, guys, it's not necessary. Guys, I got this. I, I, I can do it on, on my own. Guys, uh, Caridus, you can go die. I don't know who you are, but... Oh my god. Guys, we, we're we good. I'm good. I don't need your... Your... Your help. See, I wouldn't have to fight that. This one guy is just... Just killed a bear. That bear wouldn't have even attacked me. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yes, Commander. No, no, get out of here. Join the others. What, what are you doing? Diamond, are you going or are you staying here? Do you un? Nope. There you go. Hey, if you hey, see Lathan out there, uh, tell him he doesn't have to help me. I can handle this without you guys. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna have all nine of these guys constantly getting in my way during this entire quest. I think we're going to go ahead and end it off there. I want to go down here. Maybe like... Oh, you're Good still answer. here. You're not really a fighter, though. Yeah, you're going to be the only one that lives through this, dude. I think if I look around... Commander. Yeah. Yeah, we have Sir Beric here now. You redeemed my soul from the evil that had ensnared me. For that. I am forever in your debt. The old bitterness that seems so important to me in life. What is that now? How to weigh that against my very soul? Uh, tell me about the Knights of the Nine. The Knights of the Nine stand together once again. I would not have thought it possible. We owe you a great debt. And Sir Caius, I guess? The evil took hold of me the day that I slew Sir Caius on the Priory Steps. I baited him, knowing his temper, and then I killed him when he drew against me. I killed him in cold blood with the Holy Sword itself. I could have disarmed him or wounded him. But a cold pride had taken hold of me, and so I slew him and went to war and never returned. The evil grew upon me until I became cruel 
a tyrannical ruler, a terror upon the land. In death, evil held me even tighter than in life. Thanks to you, that all is behind me. Sir Caius and I will go to Etheria side by side, as of old. The gods are truly merciful. Okay. May the so if I have way. this story right, Beric and Amiel were kind of like the leaders here, but they were always arguing with each other and getting into fights, which is why Amiel blames himself for Beric leaving. But Caius says that he was the biggest reason Beric left, because Caius and Beric got into a physical fight where Beric yes, killed Jose. Caius. And after that, they all kind of split up. Some of them went to war. This Casimir guy went to war alongside Beric. And when he came back, that's when he went to the chapel and he killed the beggar with the gauntlets and the gauntlets fell on the floor. Meanwhile, while they're all at war, Henrik was here protecting the shield, actually doing his fucking job. Good job, Henrik. Good job. You're the only one worth a shit here compared to all these other knights. And I don't even know what all the other ones was doing. This guy isn't worth shit. He just kept jumping into a chasm for years with no success. God, what the fuck is wrong with you people? What the fuck, man? Um, next time, we're gonna go after Umaril, the Unfeathered, and we're gonna finish up the Knights of the Nine DLC. And, uh, we'll see how many of these knights make it out alive. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you then. Bye-bye!